if you happen to have a MagSafe iPhone, this is something that you'll probably definitely want. And I've actually had quite a few of these since the iPhone 12 Pro Max came out. Some of them are good, some of them are really bad and don't make any sense to me, but this one right here looks like it's gonna be top tier. Hopefully, I mean, I really like the design. It's kind of like an artistic design. It looks a lot different than the other ones I've tried. Although this one is definitely a lot more pricey, so hopefully it justifies that price point. So as you can see, we have a five-in-one wireless charging station that supports power delivery and quick charge 3.0 fast charging protocols. That is for input only, not necessarily for output. Although it does output 15 watts for MagSafe, 3 watts for Apple Watch and 5 watts for your AirPods or any other device you put on the charging pad. And plus there's even a USB-A port so you can charge something wired. Now if you're keeping score at home, we have MagSafe, Watch MagSafe, regular charging, and a wired charger, so that's just 4 in 1. But they count the LED light, which I never actually use, but that's the fifth thing in 5 in 1. Now taking a look at this box, we got a triangle box here, it's actually pretty cool, pretty sleek, and you know, might justify the price tag. We'll find out though, because the product has to be just as good as this box. Hmm, this is kind of cool. Although it kind of opened weird. This actually has some weight to it and it's... <laughs> this thing is a lot bigger than I was expecting, to be honest. Inside the box, I have a user manual, a USB-A to USB-C cable, as well as a quick charge 3.0 power adapter. So it's very nice to see that it came with everything we need. It definitely justifies the price point so far. And the actual, like, charger here, like, this is... I, like the other ones I've had weren't this big. Like this thing is massive, but it looks very nice. Like just look at that. It looks like a piece of art when you're not using it. Because you know, with wireless charging, you wanna have something sleek that you can't see until you need to use it. So this kind of just blends in if you have this sort of artistic vibe going on around your house. But taking a look at the front, we have a very big rubberized magnetic MagSafe iPhone charging pad. That's a mouthful right there kind of attracting dust on it, but it's definitely gonna protect the back of your phone, which is nice. Rest of it is made out of plastic, but it does look very sleek. Over here, MagSafe for Apple Watch. So really, you could probably figure this out already. This will only work for iPhones and Apple Watches, otherwise you're pretty much out of luck. Although the bottom pad right here, it's set up exactly to fit AirPods cases, but you can literally put a phone on here if you really want to. And then this is one of the best things about this because with all the other ones with the LED light, I always trigger it when I put anything on here because the button is right here on the front for some reason. Like I'm like, why would it be right there where your hand and the device passes over just to trigger the light to turn on? I hated that so much. But on this one, they thought ahead because the power button's actually in the back right here, touch sensitive, but I'm not gonna accidentally touch it because it's way back here. Thank you. Now taking a look around the edges, we have a full 360 degrees up until the back. We have some fit and finish issues going on here, but we also have the USB-A output as well as the USB-C input. I mean, I feel like they could have did that a bit better for the price, but we have the 360 degree LED light that lights up with different levels of brightness. Down here on the bottom, we do have some rubberized grips to keep it in place along with some ventilation ports, and there's also ventilation ports on the back of each wireless charger. I mean, overall, it's got weight to it, feels good. Once you have this on there, it's gonna be pretty hard to tip over on accident. It's got that weight, it's grippy, perfect. But now let's give it some power, USB-C in. Are there any lights? I don't see any lights, so let's turn on this light. One, two, three levels of brightness, very nice. And let's try that again in the dark. One, two, three. Very nice light, very easy. But now we have to actually get to the bottom of this thing, or actually the top. So let's get my iPhone and plant it on the charger. Oh, yes! It has the MagSafe animation, so we're definitely gonna be getting 15 watts of power. Awesome, I love that, because there's some cheaper models where it doesn't do that, so I'm like, it's, there's no way it's getting the full 15 watts if the phone doesn't think it's MagSafe. And this one, it's actually working, very nice. I mean, now, it's not the strongest magnet ever, and I feel like it's, I can hear a piece moving in there every time I take it off, so I don't know. I feel like this might not justify the price tag, but it's strong enough to keep it on here if you don't knock it over. Let's get my watch, place it on. Works perfect, turn on the light. I don't have another cheat charging device nearby, so I can't try this one out, but we could try it out separately. Place it down, and it's working, so it works. So that's pretty cool, I'm liking it. Easy, just like that, MagSafe. This is what I wanted MagSafe to be, and this is what we got. Now, granted, it is working fine, and it looks nice for the most part, but like I was saying, we got 
I don't know. It doesn't really look as high quality as I would like. Like, I'm looking at this. I don't know what that is. There's like a piece of plastic right here in the crevice here. Maybe some glue. This looks kind of dirty. The fit and finish could be much better. Like, seriously, look at this. This is something so simple right here. That's terrible. The back's terrible, although granted you won't be seeing the back, but this part, seriously. I mean, if you look at it from the front, you can't see anything wrong with it. I mean, it's all right. But I mean, for the price, I'm sure you can get a better one because it seems like they kind of missed the ball here. Now, remember what I do like, see, I'm not triggering the light until I go to the back. Perfect. And it works, but they could have did better with the quality control here because kind of missed the mark.